Okay. Hello, I am Diego Urbina. I'm one of the ESA candidates for the Mars 500 experiment, uh, which uh, uh, was uh, designed in order to simulate a trip to Mars and back. That will take 500 days because uh, with our current technology, this is the amount of time that it will take to go to Mars and back. Um, this is the first part of the module in which we will live during all this time. This, in this module, uh, we we have uh, some exercise devices that you can see uh, the scientists are helping prepare uh, in the here in the background. And this model as well, we have a bathroom which works with vacuum uh, that sucks all the all the um, all the pro products of the human body <laughs> and take them take take uh, them away from the from our habitat. Uh, this is the shower that we will be able to use uh, only every 10 days because uh, there's a limited amount of water in the in the spacecraft. Here uh, we communicate with the living module. And now you go in front and then it will stop and then you push with your we have air ducts that separate uh, all the parts of the of the spacecraft. And this is the kitchen of the living model. Here we will have breakfast all together. We will have uh, lunch and dinner, and in the in the meantime, we will be monitored by these cameras all the time to see how the crew interacts uh, during the during food, during while eating food. Uh, if we go here, we will find um, the the part of the model in which we can relax, in which can we can watch movies, we can meet together. And we have a we have a TV. And we can watch uh, movies. We don't have a, we don't have television signal here, um, but we can watch movies. We can maybe play video games or something like that. And if we go over there, we will find the crew quarters in which we will live. This is specifically the commander's. Uh, a room, so it's a little bit bigger than the others because we will organize meetings here probably. And we have a simple bed, a very small bed, and some space, some room to to put books, to put our stuff, uh, and a work on a workstation where we can work in our experiments, in uh, in our personal projects, or whatever we want to do. And this is the. This is the corridor that leads to the other uh, rooms. This is one of the more smaller rooms in which I probably will live. Uh, and you have also a phone that communicates with any of the models, with the other uh, with the crew members, with the other crew members, the rooms, etc., etc. As you can see, it's a very limited space. Here we have the uh, command console, in which we will have to spend one day each one a week. Uh, here we can monitor all the systems of the spacecraft, and we have to stay. We have to stay here working once a day, once a, once a week. Here we have the other bathroom, which is very similar to the to the to all the other bathrooms of the of the spacecraft. Okay. So from the from the living room, we connect to the medical model for this uh, tunnel, which is pretty much a seven meter tunnel made of metal. <coughs> Go. Uh, 
Uh, this is the model in which we simulate uh, Martian activity. Okay. When we reach Mars, <laughs> we, half of the crew would go in a lander, and this half of the crew will uh, go in exploration yeah. in this uh, in this uh, relatively bigger uh, model. Here you can see the the sand that represents the Martian soil. And you can see the stars represent a Martian sky. And in here we will work uh, only with uh, EVA or extravehicular activity uh, uh, scaphandra or uh, spaces. This is the this is the medical model in which we're getting in now. Here we have another uh, standard bathroom. We have a series of uh, desks for all the experiments that we will have to do. We will have to do about 90 experiments during the whole mission. We will have the computers for each experiment, a uh, camera to show the scientists what we will do. And in the, in the bottom of the, of the medical uh, facility, we have these beds in which uh, if someone gets sick, uh, he can he can live here to be isolated from the rest of the crew, uh, and we also have a series of airlocks uh, through which we pass uh, the results of the experiments to the scientists. We won't have direct contact with anyone, so we just leave the experiment there. The results, the bl our blood samples, our urine samples, our uh, breath samples, we have them here. We close and they get the experiments in the outside. Uh, guess that's about it. This this was the Mars 500 facility. Um, this is this is to show all the guys in space challenges uh, 2010. Uh, one of the most important experiments uh, related to human spaceflight uh, in the last years. And we will we will hope that we will follow you will follow the mission. And we hope that one day you will be able to fly to Mars and uh, make all this effort worth it. So thank you very much.